In the last um, few videos, we have been discussing the step function and the inverse Laplace transform of this kind of an expression now. We have the Laplace transform of a certain function being multiplied by this exponential is equal to the function shifted times the unit step function. And again, we had derived this um, several videos ago. And in the past two videos, uh, we worked through a couple of examples using this formula. In this video, we're going to work through um, a few more examples. Oh, a reminder that the playlist for the videos in the differential equation series is at the website at digital-university.org. And in earlier videos on the website there, at the playlist, we had dealt exclusively with the Laplace transform, and we derived these formulas. All of them are basic formulas because we're dealing with just standard functions, the sine, the hyperbolic sine, the cosine, the hyperbolic cosine, t to an exponential, and e raised to an exponential. All of these we had derived in the previous videos. So we're assuming now, when we're dealing with inverse Laplace transforms, that everyone is comfortable and familiar with these basic formulas. OK, uh, for this video, let's say that we want to take the inverse Laplace transform of this function. Say we have 8 times e to the minus 4s divided by s squared plus 4. And let's just rewrite it. We have e to the minus 4s. And times 8 divided by s squared plus 4. As you saw now in the previous videos then, this, this corresponds to this part of the formula. So this will be u of t. And in this problem, c corresponds to 4. So this will give us u of t minus 4. Now here we have a number over s squared with a plus sign, plus 4. That should be making us think in terms of the sine, because the Laplace transform of the sine of kt is k over s squared plus k squared. Now, we can write this part, then, as 4 times 2 over s squared plus 4. k over s squared plus k squared. So this would be the Laplace transform of the sine of 2t. k is 2. k, and there is k squared. And of course, it's the sine of kt. k is 2. And we have times 4. But it's not the sine of 2t. It's not f of t. It's f of t minus c. And in this case, c is 4. So we're going to have u of t minus 4 times 4. This 4, or this 4, we should say, times the sine of 2 times t minus 4. Let's get this in better focus. 
Okay. This is the inverse Laplace transform of, or here we have a Laplace transform because we have S functions. Remember, the functions are function T, the Laplace transforms are a function of S. So we're saying here is a Laplace transform. What is the function that this is a Laplace of? And that is this. And we derive that by using this formula. e to the minus 4s. c corresponds to 4. So we have u of t minus 4. Then 8 over s squared plus 4. That's setting us up for some kind of sine function. But the number up here has to be the square root of this number. So it has to be a 2 up here. So it's 4 times 2 over s squared plus 4. That's 4. Then the sine function that corresponds to that is a sine of 2t. We're OK with that. But it's not f of t. It is f of t minus c. And for this problem, c is 4. So this part gives us this. This part gives us 4 times the sine of 2, but not t. It has to be shifted, t minus 4, using our formula. So that's it for this problem. Let's take a look at another one here. And it's the same deal, the same, using the, the formula in the same way. Um, let's say that we have, we want to find the inverse Laplace transform of 3 times e to the minus 2s divided by s squared minus 1. And again, let's just rewrite it. The inverse Laplace transform of e to the minus 2s times 3 over s squared minus 1. So again, e to the minus cs gives us this. c is 2. So this part is going to give u of t minus 2. Now for this part, we have s squared minus 1. That should be then either a hyperbolic sine or a hyperbolic cosine. Up here it's 3, so that should probably be a, a hyperbolic cosine. Uh, let's see if that's true, or is it a hyperbolic sine? Easy to forget, so let's go back. And it looks like it would be the hyperbolic sine. Hyperbolic sine is a number here. If it was the hyperbolic cosine, we would have an s. So for the sine, it's s squared plus k squared for the hyperbolic sign. It's s squared minus k squared. In this case, we have a 1, s squared minus 1. So this can just be a 1 up here. 1 squared, the square root of 1 is 1. So this we can write as 3 times 1 over s squared minus 1, and that would be the hyperbolic sine of t. Times 3. But we know now that the function f of t is going to be shifted. It's going to be f of t minus c. And in this case, c is 2. So our function is going to be the hyperbolic sine of t 
minus 2. And we have times 3. So here, this is going to be 3. And we have this hyperbolic sine of t minus 2. Hopefully, also, you've watched our earlier videos now in the uh, when we were dealing with Laplace transforms, when we were taking transformations of functions and inverse Laplace transforms of functions. Now we're doing it at a slightly more complicated level because we're dealing with the unit step function. So this is the hyperbolic sine of t minus 2. And again, it's just the straightforward application of our formula. e to the minus 2s, that's going to give us u of t minus 2. That's this. Now factor the 3 out from the numerator. We have 3 times 1 over s squared minus 1. This is a Laplace transform of the hyperbolic sine of t. Times 3. But here we see f of s, that's a Laplace transform. That's what this is. But now for our problem, since it's multiplied by this, it's not just f of t, it's f of t minus c. c is 2. So it's the hyperbolic sine of t minus 2 times 3. So let's see if we can maybe do one more problem here. Suppose we have the inverse Laplace transform of this expression. We have s times e to the minus s over 2 divided by s squared plus 2. So let's just rewrite it. We will have e to the minus s over 2 times s divided by s squared plus 2. Now for this problem, c is one half. So this part of the problem will give us u of t minus one half. And here we have s, so that's either going to be with s squared down here, that's either going to be a cosine or a hyperbolic cosine with a plus sign that should be a cosine function. And indeed, the cosine, s over s squared plus k squared, the cosine of kt. So what t is multiplied by is the square root of this number. And this number here is 2. We have s over s squared plus 2. So if it was just that, then that would be the cosine of the square root of 2 times t. But remember for our problem, the problem is in this form. So it's f of t minus c. c is 1 half. So it's going to be the cosine of the square root of t minus 1 half. So put this over here. And 
and we have the cosine of the square root of 2 times t minus 1 half. So here we're taking the inverse Laplace transform to get the function, and the function is this. And again, it's just a straightforward application of this formula that we derived a few videos back. Here it is. We split it up like this. e to the minus cs, that gives us u of a t minus c. For our problem, c is 1 half. So this gives us u of t minus 1 half. This part right here, that is that is the Laplace transform of the cosine of the square root of 2t. What t is multiplied by is the square root of that number. And again, that is just from our basic formula right here. s squared over s squared plus k squared. This is the square root of this. This is 2, so that's going to be the square root of 2 times t. But we had to remember for these problems, it's t minus c. c is 1 half, so it's the square root of t minus 1 half. So there it is. Here is the inverse Laplace transform. Here is the function that corresponds to that. And again, it's just applying this formula in conjunction with these Laplace transform functions that we had proven in um, the earlier videos in our series of differential equations.